Well folks, my beard journey is almost up. It's been on me for nearly a year, so I figured now is probably the best time to measure it to give you guys an understanding of just how much hair you could possibly expect to have on your face if you do absolutely no trimming for the entire year. I did a video six months ago where I uh, had my fiance guest star and she measured my beard. Let's do a quick clip to that now. I'm gonna be recording the measurements here as she measures my beard. First, upper cheek, middle beard, Whoa. jawline, Chin, goatee region, French tickler, mustache length starting from. So I want to show you guys how long this beard has gotten over the entire year. In order to best illustrate that, I'm going to use a technique that no longer really is is prevalent in uh, today's hair culture, or at least in my opinion, I haven't seen it too often. But you might have heard of it back a long time ago. It's called a hundred strokes. And generally, what would happen is women would would comb their hair a hundred times with a boar bristle brush in order to straighten it, to get out, um, to make it like voluminous, to make it shiny, to look, make it look really beautiful and awesome. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my beard. I'm gonna give it a hundred strokes with my boar bristle brush, but I'm gonna be very careful not to pull the hair out. For this hundred stroke challenge, I'm gonna be using my boar bristle brush from Liberty Grooming. It's my favorite brush I own. It's got a nice long handle to it, great build quality. So let's get started. One, two, three. Take a look at those gains. Let me show you guys my merch as well while we're here. If you are starting your project year, there's no time like right now to get involved in it because year 2018 is coming up. You can start fresh just like me January 1st. Grow that project year 365. Join the movement, Drew's Obsessions. This is a unisex t-shirt, $20. All support goes to this channel where I can buy new things to share with you guys and do giveaways like that. It also comes in a gray edition with a ginger beard. For those who have a ginger beard, us ginger beards gotta stick together. So as you can see, the 100 strokes really helps to elongate your hair uh, and straighten it out. I have my original template that I used with all of my check marks for what I, how long I had my beard at the six month mark. Let's do it again, but this time we're, uh, we're gonna measure the year mark. So I've got my ruler. We'll start with the upper cheek. Last time, the upper cheek was 1.7 inches. And I'm gonna do the, the longest point of each one. Still got it, still got it, right there. I'm gonna say 4.9 inches. Last time was 1.7. Let's try the middle beard. Still got it, still got it, still got it. There, exactly five inches. Okay, that was originally 2.9 inches. Big gains there. Not as much, obviously, as the first one, but still big gains. Next one is the jawline, so it's gonna be along here. There's gonna be more blood flow to this region, uh, so the hair should be longer. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Whoa, got it, right there. 4.75, okay? Last time, that was three. Next up, we've got the goatee ch uh, chin region, and this was the longest point that I had at last time, so we'll see how, much, how many gains I've made. Last time was 3.14 inches. This time, right there. Longest point, five inches. Wow, it's really evened out overall. Those are some huge gains. So generally speaking, I think you can assume that your beard will grow about half an inch a month. So that makes sense. Uh, okay, onto the French tickler. Now this, I know I've got some huge gains. Last time was 2.2 inches. Now it's like so long that it like merges into the actual beard. So let's grab it right there. Three inches. Okay, so not, not a huge gains actually. I thought it would be more than that. Three inches for the French tickler. So it's up 0.8. So obviously that's, you know, that reaches terminal length sooner than the other parts. You'll probably not reach terminal length with this area as, as quickly as you will up here and uh, your mustache and your French tickler, as I call it. Now we got mustache from corner was, from the corner of my mouth was 2.5 inches. This is gonna be incredible. This mustache of mine is, one side is longer than the other, that's for sure. Okay, so it's this side. So let's measure the longest side. 3.25, so that was, 2.5 last time. Again, I guess obviously I am I am reaching my terminal length, so I'm not. It's not getting that much longer than it was at six months. It's just slower, I guess. And then the last point was under my chin and above my neck. So this was my really patchy part where uh, and 
nice of her to point that out. Told me it was very patchy and thin. And uh, I, as you could see before, I have this huge missing patch under here. Let me see if I can show you. You can't even see it anymore. It's so, it's so engrossed with the rest of the hair. You can't even see that original patch. So let me just grab a piece here, right about there. 4.5, we'll say. It was a bit longer, but just to be fair, 4.5. That was huge gains. 2.2 last time. So let's do a bit of a recap. So you can see the gains. So as you can see, over the course of this year, my major gains have been in the bulk of the beard. The mustache hasn't, hasn't improved as much as I thought. It's definitely thicker and girthier, especially over the lip region. Um, and that's cool. I mean, the sides are not that long or haven't gotten that much longer. Um, that's okay. And also the French tickler seems to have slowed down a lot too, but still there's a lot of room for growth in this region. So I guess I haven't reached my terminal length. It probably would get a lot longer, luckily. Um, and it's nice to actually see those gains because I was already myself a little skeptical. So if I wanted that big beastly beard, it may happen and it might happen one day. So thanks again everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to check out my merch. I really appreciate your support. And if you do purchase it, send me a private message so that I can send you a personal thank you. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because on my day 365, you're gonna see a full time-lapse video of this beard in its full glory. And then I get to decide what's gonna happen. Does it get a trim? Does it get a shave? It's in your hands. Vote please and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.